Hello guys, I just came from my holiday party so I'm pretty quiet and chill. I'm kind of sleepy. I'm just, you know, ready to take this makeup off and go to sleep because I have to wake up early tomorrow. Anyway, wing hoops. Something new for me. I look very Hispanic, y'all. Like, girl. Anyways, forgive me for this kind of like weird lighting situation. The tree looks weird. It's not really like defocused in the background. It looks kind of weird. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, but I was just too lazy to take my ring light out again and put it over here and do all that. So I just kind of put my camera in a setting where hopefully it stays focused on my face. Anyways, y'all, I'm rambling too much. Today's video is gonna be this look. As you saw in the thumbnail, girl, oh, I still cannot get over the glow and the glossy red lip. Like, I am feeling myself. Truly, now I understand what those girls say on Twitter. Like, glossy lips and hoops is an attitude. Like, it's like a, it's an all year thing. Like, <laughs> I don't really know. But yeah, oh my gosh, they make. This is sick. That makes my teeth look super white and I really like them. <laughs> okay, you guys, let's just go on with the video because I'm tired. And I reapplied this lipstick all for you guys because I had it completely off. Anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll just leave you to it. Or leave me to it because I'm going to do the video. That I already did but you're gonna watch me as I'm doing you know yeah enjoy please excuse my right eyebrow as I mentioned in previous vlogs I was doing my eyebrows with this new thingy that's like electric and has a battery and it shakes and stuff and that is how I lost this top portion of my eyebrow which is growing in and now my best eyebrow or what was once my best eyebrow is back to kind of normal and now this eyebrow i was admiring my eyebrows yesterday y'all i was like oh my gosh they grew what did i do to the sub this they both look back my best eyebrows like oh my gosh and then this morning this afternoon who am i kidding i going with the same machine and I'm going through the top right here and tell me how what what just happened I have come to a conclusion that that little device from the enemy does not belong anywhere near my eyebrows and I will continue using my little eyebrow what is it called? The little, the little blade thing that comes in a single thing and you just... Yeah. I'll continue using that from now on. Now I have to wait for this eyebrow to go. And rem mind you that this is my worst eyebrow. And last night it looked like my best eyebrow. Like it was turning into my best eyebrow because I messed up this eyebrow but now this eyebrow is messed up so now. I don't even think I have the best eyebrow. Good thing I'll be trying out the Anastasia de Pro Pomme today. Got it last night. So Anastasia, help me out girl, help me out. Anyways y'all, it's Christmas. We can't be sad up in here, we gotta be happy. So I'ma start with the Milani Prime Light. Is this what it's called? Yeah, Prime Light Face Primer. Strobing and pore minimizing and we will free to. But I decided to do which one call it a talk through today i was gonna do a voiceover because i know that you guys like shorter videos but i just feel like i haven't talked to you guys in like a while like yes i've done vlogs and stuff but just like in a makeup world aspect i just feel like i haven't done a talk through in such a long time and i just i don't know i need it it's like this is fun for me y'all this is like me getting ready with a friend so i hope you guys don't mind to guys in a little bit closer because i'm about to move blah, 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 blah. Mm, can't speak because i am about to do my brows 
and I've actually used the Anastasia dip brow but not on myself I've used it on Kiana's mom for Kiana's wedding she had it and girl that was like the best thing like it was so smooth and uh, I just had to get it for myself because I'm just like girl this elf thing like it's it got hard and it ain't working no more and I'm just like having to like add coconut oil onto it and all this stuff and I'm just like no mamita like I want to try this so I'm gonna try it I got it in dark brown yep dark brown it looked pretty similar to my elf little liner um slash brow thing just that it's a little more cool tone so i don't know how that's gonna work i like to do my brows lighter than what they actually are why girl because my hair's lighter and i'm not gonna be up in here having black brows okay to just let in that's just not my personal preference so what i'm noticing so far is that this just truly glides onto the skin like it is so soft and so easy to just like draw a straight line like y'all i know my brow looks skinny right now compared to this one just wait a minute i'll work on it and my brow actually looks a little bit lighter looks a little bit more brown you know not just my hair a little bit more so yeah good choice i like it i like it 20 minutes later i have some brows they're not really the same but hey i try my best i carved them out with my master conceal maybelline concealer in color 30 light medium and this concealer is actually almost gone this has been like the only concealer that i've used ever since i got it so i'm kind of happy because then i get to try out new concealer i get to try out tarte shape tape or urban decay naked skin those are two concealers that i've been wanting to try out for a while but since i already have a concealer and i'm not really a concealer junkie i just haven't gotten them so hmm. let's see we could try it when i run out of concealer anyway so for today's eye look i want to do something I just dug my nail into one of my eyeshadows. Oh my gosh. This is like the second time this happens. And it's kind of funny because this is like... I did this with my um, Violet Boss palette. And it's actually in one of my videos as well. And it's kind of funny because this is like kind of like the same color. I dig my nail into a maroonish, like burgundy-ish color on my Violet Boss palette. And now I did it with my Jaclyn Hill palette. Y'all, yeah. wait, which one? right there oh my gosh it's not even the colors like now my nail is like and obviously like it doesn't look as pretty in the palette but as i was trying to say before i did that girl um hey i want to go for a more brownish look i look with something in the in the lid i don't know what shade yet but I'm gonna use Miss Jacqueline's Hill palette and I should zoom y'all out a little bit. Let me there we go. And I'm gonna use my Morphe 39A as well, girl, because I am digging these browns right here. So that's what I'm gonna use. First of all, I'm gonna prom girl prom uh, I'm with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Maybe I should shake it a little bit. I don't really you can't really shake this like I just kind of squeeze it around and just hope like the product like mixes because sometimes it could come out kind of watery because it's not like mixed in well you see now it came out nice <laughs> but anyways using the same powder I always use Cody Airspawn translucent powder girl and I just found out that this gives flashback like I've all I've literally been using this for how long I feel like it's been over a year but maybe I could be exaggerating but literally no I f yeah it has been like over a year I feel and I found out from other people like other beauty gurus like James Charles and um other people telling me like not telling me but like <laughs> from watching the video like oh yeah I'm not using that powder because it gives flashback like girl I've used this powder for over a year and I have never in my life noticed flashback at all. Nada. So, I don't know. So, I'm going to take this Y15 brush and I'm going into my Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm not, we're not saying shade names. I'm just showing y'all. I'll mix these two and just do that 
for my transition i like always end up mixing these two so yeah that's what we're going to do now digging into my 39a palette i'm gonna take one of these transitions color transition transitions transition colors i'm gonna take mm, i thought about this one but i feel like that may be too orangey i think i'm gonna mix these two okay we're gonna mix these two and see what we can get out of that i'm taking like a different little blending brush nail from bh let's see because i actually have not did into these colors yet so i don't know what to expect oh that's really pretty i think it's like kind of like um a darker deeper mixture or like deeper version of the transition colors which is like really really pretty and i'm really digging that do y'all see that girl and i'm also making sure to drag that color a little bit into the outer parts of my lid so like right here just kind of like make it blend a little bit more and just add some color into the actual lid as well oh my gosh another another fail i just dropped this the edge of this palette into my 39a literally and this only happens when i'm filming and now all the brown little eyeshadow came into my pants like it was this one this literally only happens when i film you guys like ah oh, how am i gonna clean this up oh my gosh what the heck it was this one too it took a big chunk out of this one can y'all see that oh my gosh literally like why this is limited edition too like it's okay it's okay what shade am i going with next shoot i was gonna grab a big fluffy brush where's my big fluffy brush right here it's a big fluffy brush uh -huh. and i'm just gonna blend the edges out make sure actually let me like grab it more like to the tip to have like a smoother blend and barely just touching just so that that blends very seamlessly and pretty do i want to go cool town brown or do i want to go warm tone brown i'm gonna start off with a warm tone brown i'm gonna go in with this brown right here the very this brown right here at the corner but i'm also looking at this brown so i don't know which brown <laughs> i'm gonna start off with this brown it's like a cooler brown than the other one the other one's more like oh i'm warm you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna just dig into that brown the slightest bit with the brush and i'm just gonna t start tapping it on that outer third of my eye and into the outer v as well so i'm just tapping it with this brush right now and then we're gonna blend later i'm taking my y17 and i'm just gonna blend those edges out blend the colors together make sure everything just seamlessly blends into each other once again yo i am liking this brown like i really i've been feeling doing a brown look for the longest and now that I'm finally doing it, it just feels so satisfying. Do you know what I'm talking about? Now I'm taking the same brown with the brush and like the very like pointed tip and just introducing it into the crease, outer crease first, and then bringing it in to the inner crease slowly but surely. I don't want this to be too dark. I don't want it to be too harsh. I just want it to be like a nice smooth. Oh, hey, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? I went back in with this fluffier brush and blended like the edges out so that it's not harsh and now i'm kind of debating whether like keeping it like this if i'm content with this much brown or if i want to add more now i've been going for like the lighter end of the spectrum so i feel like i'm good on the brown right now so uh, let's see what lid color i'm gonna do i was really thinking this one from the 39a where is it this one, this like kind of like coppery brownish. Let me swatch it real quick because I want to see. So this is what it looks like. Obviously, I'm not like doing it justice because my arm is like a very awkward position. But, oh, there you go. You guys can see a little bit. That's kind of what it looks like. Now I need to make light. Let me take this on my finger. But I feel like that's going to be like a little bit too dark. A little bit too brown. 
to be extant. I'm thinking of taking Queen, maybe. It's like that beautiful. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at this. I want to use this for highlighter. <gasps> that beautiful gold. So I'm debating between that or doing like an icy white lid. But I'm not feeling icy white, so I think I'm gonna take Queen and I'll put it on the lid right quick, girl. Mm. So I sprayed my brush with my setting spray and now I'm gonna take this is a lip brush. Okay, don't mind this, y'all. I couldn't find like my other flat brush. Where the heck did it go? Did I even have one? Yes, I did. It's the white. It's the white BH Cosmetics one. Oh. It's right here. Anyway, y'all, I already sprayed this. I ain't, I ain't gonna waste this product. So this is gonna go focus <laughs> right here oh girl do y'all mm, do y'all see that <laughs> oh my gosh i'm feeling it i'm feeling it i'm feeling it all right y'all i'll come back with my other eye done and some wing liner <laughs> actually i'm gonna do my other eye with the blue gold i'm gonna do my wing liner i'm gonna do my face and then i'll be back for the glow and stuff like that okay okay alrighty guys so i am now back and my face is almost done i just need highlight and oh shoot i have to do my bottom not bottom lower lash line and finish the eyes and stuff but all my face needs right now is glow so i just wanted to show you guys since i'm gonna be using some different products than what i would usually use i got this urban decay chill setting spray you guys know that i always use all nighter so i'm gonna be trying out chill see how i like it why do i look so white let me see if i can fix this yeah okay i look like a person now there we go that was bothering me i'm sorry um but yeah i'm gonna be using chill this time i decided to try this one out i look white again let me just let me just spray my face Oh my gosh, I'm looking paler by the minute. What is up with my camera? Y'all, if any of you guys know, I'm using a G7X right now. Let me know, because this is kind of like... Oh, you know what I'm saying? Wait, I think that looks better. I put it in auto. I had it in background defocus. And now I'm looking like a human again, so... And now I'm looking paler again. Let me just spray my face, y'all. I don't know with this camera sign and stuff. Mm. 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 The first spritzes always feel so freaking good. So now I actually use like a whitish highlighter last time I did my makeup. And I was really digging it. So this is not like the same highlighter, but this is Ice Cold Skin Frost by Jeffrey. And, ooh, wait. Ooh, cool um y'all can see my ring light over there and honestly i i don't think i've ever used this as like a highlight highlight because i feel like it would have been like too like oh like white like mm -mm. but i'm gonna try it out today because i kind of like was digging the white highlight you know with the with the red lip it was just like snow and then the red lip just made it like oh, so freaking I don't know i just liked it a lot do y'all see that it's so pretty you know what i'm saying and it's not a lot like for my skin tone even though i have like a deeper skin tone it doesn't look bad so that was kind of like surprising last time for me to wear like a kind of like a more similar whitish highlighter because i don't really do white highlighters oh my gosh y'all do y'all see that i am living for that that is so good but now that I kind of like dug into that world and experimented with that, I am like so happy that I did because this is actually like really good and I'm in love with it. So yeah, I had this in my drawer for a long time. I didn't really think I was going to use it like as much or like for like highlight at all. I'm glad I got it because now I'm actually using it for highlight. So yeah. For my nose, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. What brush am I going to use? Ugh. Um, Where is it? Oh my gosh. It's the same brush by BH Cosmetics that I 
use for my inner corner highlight this one right here and i'm just gonna i love that these have a mirror by the way like oh, so flipping helpful and useful so i'm just gonna do my inner corner really quick and then do my nose i'm kind of scared because it's gonna be like very strong uh, do you see that i told you i was gonna be really strong because i'm applying it with a smaller brush so it's gonna be like real intense that's why i like to do my button nose with like a smaller brush because i know that it's gonna be intense i mean do y'all see that do y'all see that don't worry about it though because we are going to blend this girl let me take my fan brush actually and kind of just like fan it right here a little bit just kind of like blend that button nose a bit kind of like get rid of the harshness and there we go oh my gosh y'all i love my nose contour right now and my button nose is very intense so i'm gonna tone it down a little bit i'm gonna go in with my powder brush and just kind of like tone it down a bit because it is quite a lot i'm on facetime so don't mind the noises what the he's smiling at me so cute i let my hair down and put my hoops in girl i look so hispanic right now like but anyways, I lined my lips and filled them in with Vixen by Kylie. And I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Vivid Hot Locker Lacquer Gloss in Classic. It's just this red. So I'm gonna do that off camera too, girl, because I just, I want to get this lip on point. And I put on lashes. I think they're my 6, not 6.15s. So 620 maybe i don't know they're by salon perfect they're the ones that i use on elia so if you want you can look them up in my video because i don't have time to tell you right now but let me finish my lip and get back to you well you guys this is the finished look and might i add Anyways, thank you guys. Oh my gosh, my teeth look so white. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked. Subscribe. I don't know. Click right here on my face to subscribe or somewhere down below. If you want to watch something else, click right here. If you want to watch my last video, click right here or click right here if you want to watch my last video. Click right here if you want to watch something else. I don't know what I'm going to put right here, but I know that my face is going to be right in here in the middle. So click that go to my channel and subscribe or click the red button okay i love you and this look y'all enjoyed and